723 is your time right now, and Indiana's doubling down on attracting big investment and jobs to the state. More now from inside Indiana Business Television host Gary Dick from the IBJ Media Studios right there on Monument Circle. Well, we are following developments on Governor Holcomb's trade trip to Taiwan as the state tries to become a hub for microelectronics investment. The state of Indiana and Taiwan have signed a memorandum of understanding, clearing the way for the two parties to work together on energy, biotech, and semiconductor manufacturing. Before he left on the trip, the governor told me he is confident Indiana can become a hub for microelectronics investment and jobs. We want to triple down and part of uh, going to Taiwan uh, will be to sell the state of Indiana and to show all that we have to offer. The governor's trade mission will also stop in South Korea with a focus on electric vehicle battery production. Today in northern Indiana, Altium Cells, a General Motors joint venture, will detail plans for a massive EV battery gigafactory in New Carlisle. It could be a $2 billion investment and more than 1,000 jobs. Andretti Autosport is on the move to Hamilton County. Both Inside Indiana Business and the IBJ reporting the company will build a $200 million facility in Fishers, creating up to 500 jobs. And Indiana's oldest covered bridge among seven new sites on this year's Indiana Landmark's 10 Most Endangered list. The Cades Mill covered bridge in Fountain County was built in 1854. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond will soon head out on her annual trek across the state to showcase these endangered Hoosier treasures. And for more, you can go to InsideIndianaBusiness.com or IBJ.com. And don't forget to check us out, Inside Indiana Business, Sunday mornings at 8 on CBS4.